What's going on guys, it's Kyle or the How To Guy 123 here and today I'll be showing you guys how to use a PS3 controller on a PC in 2018. Now this is very simple and you can use your controller uh, th wired through a USB cable or wireless through Bluetooth and you're going to need two or three things depending on which one you're going to use. Obviously you're going to need a PS3 controller, I'm not sure if you can use like a uh, third party controller but I'm going to be using a genuine Sony PS3 controller. You're also going to need the USB cable that came with your controller as well as, as some sort of Bluetooth device is if you're going to be uh, using your controller wirelessly. You can either use built-in Bluetooth with a laptop or some sort of uh, Bluetooth dongle. So let's go ahead and get right into the tutorial. So the first thing I want you guys to go ahead and do is hop down into the description below. And I'll have a link for this program here. It's called the SCP Toolkit. And what this program does is it contains all the drivers we're going to need to use our PS3 controller. So go ahead and click the green download button right here. So you're going to have to wait 5 seconds for your download to start. And when it asks you where you want to save it, I would just put it on your desktop just for easy access. Now we can minimize this. And now I would go ahead and plug in your PS3 controller. So we all know how to do this, just take the cable, put it into the top, and there you go. So Windows might try to install some drivers, if it does, that's fine, if it doesn't, that's fine too, we're going to replace them in a sec. Also if you're going to be uh, do using your controller over Bluetooth, and, you, and uh, if you're going to be using a Bluetooth dongle, go ahead and plug that in right now. I'm going to be using my built-in Bluetooth on my laptop, so I don't have to worry about that. So I just want to show you guys something real quick. If we come down here to our start menu and click on settings, devices, and come down here to devices and printers, you'll see that it recognizes our PS3 controller. If we right click on it and go to game controller settings and properties, you see if we try and move the sticks, nothing happens. Usually or this, this plus should move when we move the sticks, but nothing happens. If we press the buttons, none of these light up. So if we just go ahead and hop into a game right now, with um, if we just go ahead and plug in our PS4, hop into a game, and we try and play, nothing's going to happen. So we're going to uh, go ahead and fix that. So we can exit out of this for now, and minimize this, and let's go ahead and run the SCP Toolkit setup. So when it asks you where you want to save it, I would just leave it in its default directory. But you can put these anywhere you want if you would like. Now to click the checkbox to agree to the license terms. Click next and install. Click yes and let it do its thing. And when it's done, you should hear this little ring and you should see some pop-ups here. Don't worry about them. Now go ahead and click the green box here to run the driver installer. Click yes. And this window should pop up. So if you're going to be using your controller through Bluetooth, make sure this is checked. Otherwise, if you're just using the USB cable, you can uncheck this. Uh, don't worry about these pop-ups. Um, next, make sure install DualShock 3 driver is installed. And we're going to uncheck DualShock 4 driver because that's for PS4 controllers. If you're on Windows 7 and below, make sure that you check install Xbox 360 controller driver. That's because, um, well, if you're using Windows 8 and above, these come pre-installed with your operating system. But otherwise, if you're on Windows 7 and below, make sure this is checked. It doesn't even let me check it because I'm on Windows 10. Next, if you're using Bluetooth, click this arrow here. And you're going to want to find your Bluetooth device. So mine's the Intel Wireless Bluetooth, so make sure that's checked. And we can close this. Now click this arrow under Choose DualShock 3 Controllers. And find your PS3 controller, make sure that's checked. Close out of this, and click Install. And this should take a few seconds, and you'll see a bunch of pop-ups here. And uh, you'll hear a little ring when it's done, and these pop-ups should say all complete and stuff. There we go, just like that. Now, if we go ahead and look at our PS3 controller, I'm not sure if you guys can see that, I apologize for my horrible filming, but you should see under player 1, you should see a light of some sort. If it's blinking, that means your controller is charging, 
but just if you see a light, you're good. So if you're going to be using your controller through um, the USB cable, you're done. You can hop into a game and it should all be working. <clears throat> so now if I, oh also I forgot to mention, you can minimize out of this or you can just close out of this. If we go into our SCP toolkit monitor, and that's gonna, it's gonna say connected, server connected, and if we come down here to our taskbar, oh, it just moved into the little box here. So we double click on it, you should see that uh, DS3 controller, that's our DS3 controller, it's through USB and it's charging, that means our, our controller is connected through our USB and it's charging. So if, theoretically, if you want to use this through Bluetooth, you should be able to just unplug this and it should just connect. You can see under here that under SCP toolkit information, under one of the pop-ups, it says genuine Sony DualShock 3 controller found. So that means it, it has a founder controller and it's gonna, it took a few seconds to uh, connect, but after a few seconds you should see under, um, under player one, it should see, you should see a light and in the SCP monitor, you'll see DS3 controller through Bluetooth with full battery. So there we go. We can close out this. We're pretty much done. So if I go back here into our devices and printers, you'll now see that our, our PS3 controller is not here anymore, but it's been replaced with the Xbox 360 controller for Windows. That's fine. What I think this actually does is, since uh, the Xbox 360 controller is plug and play, it pretty much, uh, takes a PS3 controller and makes Windows think that's an Xbox controller. Not too sure in that. But if we go ahead and right click on it, click Game Controller Settings, and go to Properties. If we try and move the sticks, you should see the plus in the middle is, uh, it's moving. If we press the buttons, they all light up. So everything is good. And one last thing I would like to mention is, since what we just did is it's a service, we installed a service, um, what that means is, when you restart your computer and you want to use your PS3 controller, all you gotta do if you're using this through the cable, you just gotta plug it in and it should recognize it. And if you want to use this through Bluetooth, all you gotta do is hit the middle PlayStation button and it should take a few seconds to connect. But that's pretty much it. All you gotta do is press the middle button and it should just connect automatically. You don't have to do anything, it should just all be working. So that's pretty much it for this tutorial. If this helped, leave a like. If it didn't, leave a dislike. If you got any problems or any comments, leave them down in the description below and I'll try and help you guys out. So thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys in the next one.